Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well at your places. Students, this is Priyanka here and once again I am here with the video of English Mulberry of class 3rd. Students, as we have already completed chapter number 1 in our previous video, so in today's video we are going to move on to the new topic that is a poem so big. So students, you all are requested to take out your mulberry book and open page number 25. I hope students you have opened this poem. First I will simply read it one time and then I will explain you line wise. So the name of the poem is So Big. Students, this poem is basically about the huge animal. As you can see, in this picture this is the picture of a dinosaur so this poem basically is about the dinosaur okay so let's start did you know that the largest animal living on earth is the blue whale its tongue alone weighs more than a hippopotamus read a poem about another huge animal that lived a long time ago as we all know that the largest animal is uh, living on the earth is the blue whale at present okay but there is another uh, huge animal that lived a long time ago and that was a dinosaur so this poem is about the dinosaur so let's read it the dinosaur an ancient beast i am told was very large his eyes were as big as tennis balls. His stomach was bigger than a garage. He had the biggest humping back, a neck as long as Friday. I am glad he lived so long ago and didn't live in my day. So students, the poet is saying the dinosaur and ancient beast, ancient means otabite, long ago or the thousand thousands of years ago okay the poet is saying that i i was told i am told that the, the dinosaur an ancient beast beast means animal the dinosaur uh, i am told that the dinosaur was a uh, was a very huge animal uh, and it was uh, and it was there long time ago okay his eyes were as big as tennis balls and the uh, and he was also told that his eyes wo were as big as tennis ball i think students you all have seen the tennis ball yellow color ball so here the poet is comparing uh, dinosaur's eyes with tennis balls his stomach was bigger than a garage and in next line he is he is comparing uh, his stomach to the garage garage you know now what is garage garage means it is a building where we, you keep your car as you can see it is written here a building where you keep your car okay so his stomach is compared to a garage he had the biggest humping back and as we can see in this picture he has a beginning biggest humping back i think uh, uh, what what is the meaning of a humping back a curved back clear like that of a camel yes na camel also have a humping back na so he uh, he told us that uh, he means dinosaur had the biggest humping back a long a neck as long as friday and his neck is as long as friday why the poet um, compares his neck with friday because friday it takes a long time to come yes na as it is uh, 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 means uh, after Friday weekend comes na? Uh, Saturday and Sunday in most of the country it is only f uh, five working days are there and after fifth uh, means sixth and seventh is supposed to be 
we can okay so we so the people in the other countries uh, are eagerly waiting for friday and and it looks uh, means it takes two time it's take so long to come okay i am glad he lived so long ago and didn't live in my day and the poet is very happy that the dinosaur was uh, the dinosaur lived so long ago and he is not in my day clear because the poet don't want to see the dinosaur in his uh, means um, in his time okay as he was told that the dinosaur was an ancient beast it was the biggest animal and his eyes were com uh, were compared to a tennis ball his stomach was compared to a garage and he um, he was told that he had the biggest humping back and his neck is as long as friday that's why the poet is very glad that he didn't live in my day okay so i hope the students it is clear to you now come to the word meaning as you can see some word meaning are uh, given here and you are supposed to write these word meaning in your notebook ancient long ago or thousands of years ago next is beast beast means a large animal next is garage a building where you keep your car then humping back a curved back okay like that of a camel clear so you do these word meaning in your notebook and now come to its exercises now turn the page and come on the first exercise that is choose the right answer the poet knows that dinosaur were very large because he has one in his garage he has been told they were very big and he has seen the biggest one so the answer would be because he has been told they were very big okay next is the parts of the dinosaur described in the poem are eyes legs stomach and neck eyes stomach and neck eyes stomach back and neck so the correct answer is the third one because in this poem uh, the parts of dinosaurs are that is just uh, means that are described are eyes stomach back and neck now come to the c one the poet would not like to see a dinosaur okay so the last uh, last one would be correct now come to the next page these question answers we will write in our notebook and i'll give you after the exercise so look at this exercise that is a matching that match the columns to get interesting comparisons students here you are supposed to write the number only as i have written okay so as sticky as so the answer would be jam so you write a in front of jam as quick as lightning as light as a feather as round as a as the earth as tall as a giraffe and last as sharp as a knife okay so you do this exercise here only now come to the next one fill in the blanks with comparisons of your own remember to insert a n or the wherever needed so look at the first one as large as a whale as bright as the sun as black as a coal as clever as a fox as fast as a tiger as small as an ant clear now we will do question answers in our notebook so the first question is why is the dinosaur called an ancient beast so the answer is the dinosaur is called an ancient because ancient beast because they lived long long ago clear 
Now next is how big were the dinosaurs eyes? The dinosaurs the dinosaurs eyes were as big as tennis balls. Clear? Now next is what is the dinosaurs stomach compared to? So the answer would be the dinosaurs stomach is compared to a garage. Clear? Now come to the next question. The poet says the dinosaur's neck is as long as Friday. Do you think that Fridays are long? Yes, I think the Fridays are long because weekend comes after it. Clear? Now look at the last question. What is the poet glad about? Why do you think this thought makes him glad? The poet is glad because dinosaurs lived long, long ago. I think that he doesn't like to see a dinosaur today. So students, these are the question answers of this poem. So you do this ex uh, question answers in your fair notebook with the word meaning. Okay. And uh, now I will meet you in my next video. And in my next video, I will start chapter number 2. Clear? Till then, take care. Bye-bye.